All right, now we're gonna do some finishing touches. So we're ready to add some windows and doors. These buildings are not just giant blocks. Uh, so determine which building you wanna start with and um, what you'd like to create. So let's start with our corner building since that was the first building we created. And I'm gonna make a door. So I'm gonna make my door on the right side of the building. So what I need to do is I need to um, draw the left edge of my door. And you're gonna see why. So. I'm going to line up my ruler, make sure that it's totally vertical. I can look at any of these vertical lines to use, um, use my eyes to make sure it's vertical. I'm just going to draw a vertical line however high I think the door might go. Okay. Then, uh, since it's on the right side of my building, it's going to the right vanishing point. So I'm going to line up my ruler from the top of that vertical and go to the vanishing point. But I'm going to stop when I hit the edge of my building. As long as I can see that if I continued, it would go to the vanishing point, okay? And then from the bottom edge of this line to the vanishing point, do I need to do it? No, because it's the edge of the sidewalk. All I need to do now is fix this door, because right now the door ends at the edge of the building, and that's not normal. So line up your ruler to that vertical edge of your door, slide it over to where you'd like your door to end, and add another vertical. Then you have that extra converging line we used to do the top edge, you can erase. So there we have our first door. Uh, perhaps on the door um, you've got a little handle, it depends on what kind of building it is. Okay. Um, now if you want to create a window you do it the exact same way. So you want to be as close to the corner of your building as possible when you create your first line. So any corner, you want to be close to the corner to create that first line. So I'm going to go ahead and decide that there's a long window up here. So I'm going to line up my ruler to my corner, slide it over, make sure my ruler is still vertical, and draw a little line that's going to be the edge of the window. Then I'm doing the same thing I did with the door. So I'm going from the top of that vertical towards a vanishing point, but stopping at the edge of the building, making sure that if I did continue, it would go all the way to that vanishing point. And then from the bottom, cor or bottom edge of the vertical line, towards the vanishing point, making sure that I stop at the edge of the, the building, but if I did continue, it would hit that vanishing point. And now I just need to determine where this window ends. So line up my ruler, making sure it's still vertical, and draw that vertical line to close the window. And maybe this window is divided in two, so I can go ahead and, and do that um, by just creating two vertical lines. And the trick here would be to just erase the line in between them so that they actually look like uh, two separate windows. Of course I've erased some of my other lines now, so I'll have to go and polish those back up. making sure that I'm following still those lines I had initially created so it looks correct. Uh, so let's create a billboard. So we're going to create a billboard on this side of the building. Um, what I need to do is start the edge of my billboard as close to the corner as I can. So if this is where my corner is, the edge of my billboard is going to be right here. It's going to be a big one. And since it's on the left side of the building, it goes to the left vanishing point. So just like we did with the doors and the windows, and the buildings for that matter, you're going from the bottom of that vertical line towards the vanishing point, stop at the building, make sure that if you did continue it would lead to the vanishing point, and then from the top to the left vanishing point as well. Stop at the edge of the building. Now you can see, since this building is behind this building, we're not going to see the entire left edge of that billboard, but we are going to see it right up here at the top. So I'm just going to make it about the same distance that it is on the other side. So making sure my ruler is vertical, I'm just going to go ahead and close that edge of the billboard and erase that little like, extra line. So this could be a billboard, this could be a giant window, this could be anything you'd like really. Um, I'm going to show you uh, one more way to create a sign on this side, but this time we're going to actually add text. And text can be a little bit difficult with perspective. So let's give it a shot. So we're going to start um, as close as we can to our corner. So the sign is actually facing the street of this building. So go ahead and uh, draw a vertical line as close to the vanish or sorry, as close to your corner. And um, <clears throat> go ahead and go from the top of your vertical line 
towards the left vanishing point because we're on the left side of the building and from the bottom of that vertical line also towards the left vanishing point because we're on the left side of the building. Stopped at the edge of the building. Now I'm just going to make sure that I can uh, create a vertical line to end that sign. And there it is. So this sign, uh, this sign is going to say deli, because this is a deli store, let's say. So um, D-E-L-I is what I need to write. Now, you could write it just normally how you would write it, but you'll find that it kind of looks like the letters are falling off of the sign. So you want to follow the edge of your sign. So your D should be totally vertical, but it's got to fit within the edges of this sign. There's my D. My E is going to be vertical, so if you create it and it's not vertical, it will look like it's falling off the page. But you can see I'm uh, extending the E a little bit higher so that it follows the edge of my sign. Bottom side is also going to extend a little outward so it follows the edge of my sign. Of course, I probably should have laid this out ahead of time to make sure that it would fit perfectly. And it's not quite perfect, but that's okay. What counts the most is that all of my letters are perfectly vertical. So let's go ahead and uh, write ATM in this window, just so you can have another example. So um, the A should be totally vertical. Okay, same with the T. What's going to change is going to be that edge, the top edge of the T, because it's got to follow the edge of the top edge of the window. And here's our skinny little M. Okay, so you can see how it fits nicely there. Uh, let's do one more sign. So let's do it on the right side of this building. We draw the edge of our sign near our corner. We lead to our uh, right vanishing point from the top and from the bottom. Determine where that sign ends by creating a vertical line. Okay, and uh, this sign is going to say boats, because they sell boats, apparently. Uh, so you go ahead and start your B. Now, here's where people would get tricky. They would probably try and do their B like this, or their whole word like that. And you'll notice it looks like it's falling off of the sign. So again, the, the letters, the vertical parts of a letter should stay vertical. So a B has a vertical line it should stay vertical. It's only the parts that aren't normally vertical that sort of follow the edge of the sign. So you can see the bottom of my B matches this edge and the top of my B matches this edge. Okay, and then I go ahead and create my O. So the parts of the O that should be vertical should stay vertical. Same with the A. Oh, but that horizontal line should be parallel to the edge of the sign. And the T, it also has a horizontal line that should also be parallel to the edge of my sign. Apparently they only have one boat at this store. It's the boat store. Uh, let's create a row of windows uh, on this right side of our building over here. So to create a row of windows is really quite simple. What you want to do is make sure you're close to your um, corner and draw the vertical edges of those windows. So let's say the whole side of this building is all windows for some reason. And we're going to go towards our right vanishing point because we're on the right side of the building from the top of that vertical line and from the bottom. And you're going to do the same thing for all of those windows as they slide down the edge of that building. So remember, perspective is really challenging. Um, probably one of the more challenging things that, uh, that you'll ever learn in art class because it's very mathematical. Um, so take your time and you can always go back and watch these videos several times. In fact, when I learned how to do perspective, um, I remember uh, going for extra help daily and just getting the teacher to show me again and again and the more she did it, uh, the better I was able to understand it. If you're also um, looking for a little more a little more uh, information about this, you can 
absolutely go on YouTube and just search Two Point Perspective Tutorial and you can have somebody else teach it to you and perhaps they'll say it to you in a way that makes a little more sense than how I'm describing it and that's totally fine. But also feel free to go back and watch my videos again. Pause, rewind, fast forward, do whatever you need to do to understand it. So let's close these windows on the edge here. Okay, and then now I could go in and erase those little extra lines. I tried not to let them touch the edge of the building so I wouldn't have to erase them. Oops, that little edge never got erased. So I've got these really long windows. Let's say I want to split them up just like I split up these windows. Maybe this time it's in three because it's an apartment building, let's say. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a vertical line that's going to be the edge the right edge of this side of the windows and then I'll just make a little space because they're probably not connected so just erase a tiny bit outside of that edge and then right at the line where I've erased it making sure my ruler is still vertical adding my new edge and uh, probably should have measured these beforehand because uh, one window is going to be really really tiny but that's okay maybe it's a bachelor apartment or maybe there's this is just a double window and these are single windows that's fine too so there we have windows I'll create another door over here just so you can see so again it's uh, close close to the edge or we start with the edge that's closest to our corner draw our vertical line and go towards our left vanishing point because it's on the left side of the page stop at the edge of the building Make sure your ruler is still vertical to decide where the edge of that door is. And draw your line. Two-point perspective cityscape.